What is going on guys and girls? Welcome to what is always one of my freaking favorite games of the year, NBA 2K13, executively produced by the legend Jay-Z. I, I feel like this is the most, like, worst, scummiest marketing move ever because I don't know what effect he had on the game, if any, except to sell more copies because people are like, dude, Jay-Z made this game, which is cool, that's whatever, I just, I could very well see Jay-Z just, you know, giving it a thumbs up and that was his contribution. Regardless, supposedly he made some big impacts on signing guys for the Dream Team mode, which if that's the case, then kudos to you, Jay-Z, I give you a pizza. We're gonna jump into a quick game here. Introducing the control stick, new for NBA 2K13. The control stick makes it easy to perform dribble moves like crossovers, spins, hesitations, and more with just a flick of the stick. And when it's time to take your shot, just hold down the modifier button and move the stick to shoot jumpers, layups, and throw down monster dunks. Performing more complex gestures with the control stick will allow you to pull off amazing dribble combinations and an entire arsenal of new shot types. Oh yeah, so they've added back the dribble stick, which is awesome. And of course, being the NBA champions, we have to we're required to go play against Miami. If you have followed me for any period of time, you know I hate LeBron James, I hate the Miami Heat, I do not like them. I will be choosing the Oklahoma City Thunder as my weapon of choice here. I love Kevin Durant. I'm a huge fan of this team and it would serve me just rainbows of smiles to smash on LeBron and his team. As you know, the worst part about NBA 2K games is the crowd and it seems like it has gotten a little more varied but still the people look like they're just just rotten. How do the players look good? And the fans look so crappy. I know they don't spend time on them but you think all you gotta do is like make one one good set of players and or one good set of fans and be fine. Replicate them at any arena. I am not the Heat. Don't even, don't even joke with me. Now a lot of people have problems with 2K12 um, based on many, many issues that it had, from some online bugs to a whole slew of problems. So it'll be very interesting to see how this one holds up. And of course Shane Battier misses. It's Shane freaking Battier. Um, we're gonna try out this dribble stick. Ooh, oh, oh, Kevin Durant, getting all fancy, huh? Tabo. Take the ball, give it back, home fake, attack the rim, whoop! Nice move, KD. This is how we do it. I'm showing you how to beat LeBron James, Kevin. You don't practice with him in the offseason. You don't, you know, kindly sweet talk him on defense. You get up in his grill and show him who's boss. Oh, I thought the LU button is not the same as last year, therefore that turned into a completely botched, huh? Botched dunk attempt. My fault, I will throw it down next time. You know, I'm so used to 2K12 controls. It's one of those games that's like evergreen for me. I, I play it all the time. I play it every year. Um, I don't know if it ends up having the most hours after a year, but it's the one that I play throughout the entire NBA season as well as the year of gaming itself. Russell, take it, take it, take it, take it. All right, so we, you also have your hesitation moves and all that on your um, left stick if you want to just use it that way, but you can do this right stick. And, of course, being Russell Westbrook, he's going to get carried away and get the ball stolen. The uh, usher boy himself, Perkins, gets his hand on the action. Kicks to Kevin Durant. Pop that three ball. Boom. That's five, seven. Know how to do math before you count. Zero. All right. So they only let you play one quarter because it is a sports demo, and that's how they do these things. They have to save something for launch day. But this game comes out less than a week from today, which is just awesome. I, I always, you know, it's not like, oh, Halo 4, it's not Black Ops 2, but there's always something awesome about having the new NBA game come out, and I love it. See how the free throws work out. A little bit of interface change. For the most part, you know, it's going to retain a very similar feel. That dribble stick, though, will add a lot if you are missing some some freedom with your maneuverability. You know, and I've heard that it's laggy and problems online, but again, this is demo, so don't, don't hold anything Crazy. All right, right stick. Yes, we know the drill. Turn off. And um, they have added a like ultimate team mode this year, which is so awesome. That's what I'm most pumped for. I love that mode in Madden, but it would mean more to me in, in an NBA game because I'm a much bigger basketball fan. And you know, acquiring players via, via packs and all that kind of stuff just sounds super duper -duper -duper awesome and exciting to me. You can buy them with in-game credit. You can buy them with Xbox Live points probably. Um, and it just, whoa, LeBron. Getting all fancy with his hands. Um, it just seems super. That has me psyched. That has me really stoked to try out that mode. 2K does a great job with all their modes, so I'm, I'm very interested to see 
how they've worked out um, that kind of an idea. No respect for Westbrook outside. He's going to bury it. He's going. Oh, he's not. Perkins. Ibaka. Kevin Durant. Gunner. Westbrook always getting boards. I'm a huge fan of OKC. I think they can do some serious damage again this year. I wouldn't be surprised to see them either back in the playoffs or, uh, I mean, back in the finals or winning. That's pretty crisp. That's pretty crispy, the footwork there with Kevin Durant. They've got a, a new animation, uh, a whole, whole ton of new animations. Supposedly they've worked on collisions and stuff as well. Um, so I'm pretty darn excited. There's off-ball fouls now, a whole lot of adjustments. I'm trying to make this game better. Let's see, what do we have on our... We've got stats there on the D-pad, just trying to see what kind of uh, options. Normally you can change. I don't know if everything's in in this demo, uh, but normally you can change stuff on the fly. No, Serge, what you doing, man? If you remember, I excitedly covered 2K12 on launch day. Um, and, of course, Miami was involved in that. Freaking one as well. And Ray Allen's on the court. This is bad news. Get out of here, Ray Ray, you betrayer of Boston. How many of you are upset at Ray Allen for leaving his boys in green? I am. I don't even like the Celtics. I just, it's just such a stupid move. It's just a, it's a grab to try to make it to the finals before he retires. Even though he's already won, so it, it seems even more pathetic. Oh, Ray Allen, I wish you had stayed home. Use that pick. LeBron is too feisty for now. Ah! Get in there, kick out, swing, swing. Surge with the 15-footer. Oh, that's his money shot. What you doing, dude? And my brother loves the creative player mode. That's his favorite mode. I um, mean, I might be, I might be getting into it this year. I, I haven't really bit the bullet on it for, for, for whatever reason, but I feel pretty interested this year, and so it might be something that I play around a little bit with. We'll see about doing some video content of 2K13 when it does actually release in stores. Like I said, in just like six, five short days. Shane Battier falling over because he freaking or Ray Allen falling over. My, my mistakes. Can't even remember how to walk. Whoa, Perkins! Get your hands up. Has them as a goon. Oh, I forgot. They have Richard Lewis, too. Do doesn't Miami just make you angry? I'm sure there's plenty of Heat fans out there watching this video. Like Ghost Robo, you're just jealous. You're just jealous that they have so many good all-stars. But how many of them did they draft? How many of them did they get? Westbrook going to burn this shot clock down here. Use that screen. Attack the rim. Oh, come on. You think you can guard me? You think you can guard Westbrook, one of the fastest guys in the league? No, I don't think so. And Kevin... Oh, well, fine. If you throw it off... Freaking LeBron James back. Not going to do much. This game got a lot closer than I thought. 13-12 here. We'll still put the poison in that dagger and blank out the coffin. Give the ball to Kevin Durant. Give me a can call for picks. We, what do we have going on here? No, I don't, I don't think they have the full feature set implemented on, on sort of the, the ball, off-ball things that you can do. Um, because it just seems like a little bit low in terms of your options. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Kevin Durant. You missed and the game ends on a miss, which is sort of sad, but we'll clap it up anyways. We have a long way to go. 13 to 12. Nice little new interface tweak. Um, they tried to go a, a little more crisp instead of box score style, which is reminiscent of ESPN and stuff, but this gives you all the details right up front, which I like. Got your signature skills now. That's a new addition to the game and much more, which we will fully flesh out in about a week. Hope you guys enjoyed. Again, unfortunately, I can't play anymore, which is sucks because I was just getting started. Kevin Durant is looking like a little bit of a mole rat there, which I don't approve of. But for the most part, the animations are good, and the game feels fluid, and we just beat the freaking heat. So, golf clap for us, golf clap for you. Thanks so much for watching. Have a fantastic day. Drink some hot chocolate. Until next time, guys and girls, we'll see you all later.